what is a church? And who founded the first church? Hey, I'm Father Bryce Higginbotham, and we're here at St. Francis Cathedral. The, the short answer to that question is that God founded the church. And the church, most fundamentally, is God's people gathered together to worship Him. In the book of Exodus, God sees his people enslaved in Egypt, and he calls them out to worship him. He rescues his people from their slavery to the wicked king, and through his priest and through his prophet, Aaron and Moses, he tells Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, he says, let my people go. Why? God, through Aaron and through Moses, his priest and his prophet, tells the king of Egypt, let my people go so that they might worship me in the desert, so that they might offer sacrifice to me in the desert. So God, by means of powerful plagues and the parting of the Red Sea, rescues his people from slavery in Egypt and brings them to Mount Sinai. And on Mount Sinai is the first place that the Greek translation of the Old Testament uses the word church. God gathers his church at Sinai. And what does he do on Sinai? He calls his prophet and his priests. He calls Moses and Aaron and the other priests, Aaron's sons, up onto the mountain to teach his people how to worship him. First, how to give him glory and honor by doing the right thing, by living good lives, by being good people, by following the Ten Commandments, which he gives them on the mountain. And then second, how to offer sacrifice. On the mountain of Sinai, God gathers his people whom he had called out from the world, whom he had called out from slavery, who he had, so to speak, washed in the waters of the Red Sea, and says, now it is time for you, my church, my people, to worship me. And that, in fact, is what the word church means. In Greek and in Latin, it's ekklesia. It means the people who are called out. So you and I, through our baptism, we become church. We become members of the body of Christ because we are called out of slavery to sin. We are called out of the world. We are called into this building. We are called into this community to worship God, to become the men and women whom he's calling us to be, to become saints. We're called out of the world into heaven. We're called out of the world to learn how to be not of the world, but how to come with God for a time, like Moses went up the mountain, and then go out to transform the world. That the whole world might become part of the church. That the whole world might become part of the community that worships God. So if the church was founded by God and is the people of God gathered to worship God, then why do we need a building? Why do we need these gigantic buildings that cost a ton of money to build? Why do we need a place to gather? Well, first of all, because if we're going to get together to pray, there simply has to be a space to do it. But more importantly than that, on Mount Sinai, right after God had gathered his church together, the, the very next thing that he does is he tells Moses, he says, Moses, build my house, build my temple, Build my tent, and I am going to dwell with you in this building. I, God, sent a cloud. The rabbis called it the Shekinah. He sent the glory cloud. And when the cloud descended over this tent, over this temple, over this church, that he told Moses to build, God's presence was there. And the people were called to worship. Similarly, in the New Testament, in Matthew chapter 16, Jesus says, I will build my church. Jesus, as God himself, brings the fulfillment of what happened on Mount Sinai in himself. He gathers his people, his church, around his priests and his prophets, the 12 apostles, Peter, their successors, the bishops. He gathers them together for the same thing, that they might 
worship God, that you and I as church might worship God by our lives, by living the commandments, by living the Beatitudes, and that we might worship God together as a community by offering sacrifice, which we do on Sunday when we come to this building, when we come to pray, when we come together to give everything to the Lord and to be transformed so that we might go out and transform the world. And church, church is the end. Church is the end of history, the end of humanity, and the beginning of eternity. In the book of Revelation, the Bible says, I saw John writing in the scriptures, he says, I saw the new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven like a bride adorned for her husband, and her foundation stones were the twelve, on her foundation stones rather, were written the twelve names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. So when we come to this building, we are coming to the heavenly Jerusalem. When we come to this building, we are going into heaven. When we come to this building, we are coming to worship. So who founded the church? God founded the church. Jesus founded the church. And what is the church? Well, yeah, the church is the building made of bricks and of stones in which we come together to worship. But more importantly than that, the church is the living stone. You and me, who are the people of God, who are his family, that are called out of the world to worship him and then sent back into the world to transform it into an ever more glorious praise and glory of God. We'll see you next week. God bless you.